Welcome back to Better Kansas City. It is the number one cause of heart attacks in young, healthy, active women younger than 50. But there is life after SCAD, and here to tell us about that is Dr. Stephanie Lawhorn here from St. Luke's Mid-America Heart Institute. So first off, let's talk about what is SCAD. SCAD is actually spontaneous coronary artery dissection. That is where there's actually three layers to the artery of the of the coronary artery and the most inner layer actually rips or tears and that can result then in a blood clot forming and closing off the artery so a, a woman will have a heart attack okay and of course that would be you know devastating for a lot of people you know who does this mostly affect well it accounts for about less than 0.5 percent of heart attacks but it affects unfortunately young healthy women it's the most common cause of a heart attack in a woman less than 50 years of age and the average age is right about 42 years so uh, these are active women mm -hmm. healthy women that sustain something like this and it is very different from the traditional heart attack okay um, you know let's say we don't know the symptoms or what happens in a traditional heart attack or that much about SCAD, you know, where could we and our families go to learn more information? Well, actually, uh, St. Luke's Muriel I. Kaufman Center is now sponsoring a town hall event on June 22nd, mm -hmm. and it's going to be for women who have experienced such a event so they, they can network with other women. Mm -hmm. And it's an educational session too where there will be cardiologists that specialize in SCAD being able to talk about this, what to expect, sort of what makes women at risk for this. And, and there is also websites that can be looked at too for SCAD. So mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of information out there but it's unfortunately not well known at this point in time to the public that this is one of the reasons for heart attacks that can occur in women. Right, and then just to sort of clarify that for anybody who's watching at home, you know, what is the difference between SCAD and a heart attack? In a traditional heart attack, what happens is there's plaque or cholesterol buildup there mm -hmm. that eventually will narrow the artery or a little piece will break mm -hmm. off and close off the artery and so a clot will form and that causes a heart attack because it stops blood flow down that artery. Again, in a SCAD patient, what happens is the actual artery will tear and a piece of that artery may close off the artery supply or a blood clot will form there. So what happens is then you get another what we call a true lumen where the blood flows down that artery and should flow down that artery and a false one where, where a clot can form and close off the true lumen or where the blood should be flowing to supply the heart. And uh, that's what causes a heart attack and 50% of what we call STEMI heart attacks will result in damage to the heart muscle. Okay, well, you know, thank you, Dr. Lawhorn. And of course, there is so much more information available at that town hall where you can actually learn about things with your family. So again, that town hall will take place on June 22nd from 1 until 3.30 in the afternoon in the Hartzler Conference Room inside of St. Luke's Hospital. To RSVP, just call 816-932-5784.